Well, okay, the Corsican adventure is about to begin. Here comes the Corsican ferry, the Mega Express 2, that's going to take me uh, across the Mediterranean to the island of Corsica. And here's a spectacular January day in Nice. There's just something about getting on a ship that's about to leave. It's just irresistible, the lure of adventure across the horizon. And there in the very center of the screen to the right of the radio tower, just to the right of that tower is Elton John's house. Okay, first light in Bastia, Corsica. The ferries are loading their trucks. Other ferries are waiting to unload or load. Along the waterfront in the center of the city, there's a very nice series of sidewalk cafes. And now the old port of Bastia. You have to have a church, of course. Very little narrow winding streets. Very closed up in the winter. Very appealing. Well, here in the heart of the old city by the old port, something tells me that it would not take very much of an earthquake to just bring the whole place down. Very charming. Well, everybody's looking out the window this morning. Laundry's hanging out. Cats are peeking out of the attic there. Sure beats having a blank, flat wall. Okay, the old town of Bastia is utterly charming. Okay, here we are north of Bastia at Cap Cors, which is this thumb of land that sticks up to the north, the very northernmost part of Corsica. And it reminds me a lot of Pebble Beach or Monterey, California. And there are plenty of cliff clinging houses here, but of course, the difference between here and California is this, history. Uh, these towers ring the entire island of Corsica and they are watchtowers to make sure that the invading pirates don't get in unannounced. Well, I'm sure in summer this is a great ride, but... Uh, Right now it's very cold. Man, my fingers are frozen, my mouth is frozen. Doesn't feel very Mediterranean at the moment. And I haven't reached the high point yet. I'm tempted to turn around. A waterfront area of Ajaccio. Well, here we are in Napoleon's hometown, Ajaccio. Um, it's... I actually like it better than Bastia. 
The old town has little crooked winding streets, quite a bit of shopping, a fair bit of bustle, good waterfront, plenty of ferry service. The airport is not as well served as Bastia. It's a more appealing, more appealing place for me. Well, while it's not as dramatic or picturesque as Bastia's citadel, Ajaccio does have goats. That'll keep out the invaders. Well, the road back to Bastia after my day at Ajaccio goes right through those mountains. So, I remember how cold it was this morning. And naturally, I start thinking about what lies ahead and how quickly I can get there before the snow or whatever else is coming hits. So, right back there is the lovely sunny coast of Ajaccio. And this is typical scenery on the road between the two cities, except for the middle part, which is over those mountains. I think it's going to be a cold ride. ends our little adventure. There's Nice, back home. Monaco's just around that point, that's Cap Ferrat. And there is the harbor of Villefranche. There is the low, middle, and high Corniche roads along the Riviera. And, uh, yeah, been a very venturesome couple of days. I didn't like the snowy part on the motorcycle, but other than that, Corsica was great.